What is up guys? Welcome back to another exciting video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I personally, right now, this year, would set up a Facebook ad fully optimized from start to finish. The exact thought process, everything that I would actually do to create a high converting Facebook ad, even with absolutely no knowledge of Facebook ads, digital marketing, or anything like that. We're gonna show you everything from A to Z. Stay tuned. What is up guys so we're gonna jump right into this but really quick if you're new here first of all welcome to the strongest family on youtube and make sure you do two quick things tap the little like button because it helps me a lot more than you actually might think continue to create completely free content like this that most people are charging thousands of dollars for it takes two seconds to like it you don't have to if you don't want to but i do appreciate it and if you want to join the strongest family on youtube make sure you tap the subscribe button turn on the notification bells why because we give a hundred dollars to the first commenter on every single one of our videos and so if you want to be the first commenter on our next video make sure you subscribe and turn on the bells and so today we're gonna be talking about how to build an ad from start to finish and so we're gonna use the example of makeup but the same exact strategy works no matter what you're actually doing so we're gonna go into Kylie cosmetics this is her actual Facebook page and um, what we can see is if we go to page transparency right here go to see more we can actually see the exact ads that she's running on her page so if we go to her ad library when we actually go to set up our own campaign we'll have a lot of ideas of what type of ads are actually working um, very basic, you know, little uh, emojis and, and very basic text with these types of very high quality images. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go to business.facebook.com. Now I already have an account, so I have to do this in incognito, but this is what you want to do. Go to business.facebook.com, go to create account, and then you actually link your business account to your personal Facebook page. And that is how you can professionally run ads, right? So I already have a business manager, so I'm not going to walk you through exactly how to do that, but it's step-by-step, -step, very, very easy. You just need a business manager a Facebook page to run ads from um, and that's pretty much all you need to actually get started and so once you're actually logged into your business manager account it's gonna look something like this right where you can see all the different ad accounts that you have live in your business manager you can see your ads manager you can see all the different things that you actually need but in this particular video we're only focusing on one thing which is setting up an ad from start to finish so inside of ads manager once you sign up for a very easy to sign up for business manager um, we're gonna actually go to create now when we press create, we're gonna be able to actually create our first ad campaign. Now there's a lot of different what's called marketing objectives. You can see them right here. If you're Coca-Cola, you might wanna run brand awareness, um, you know, but for most people, most of the time, what we're gonna be most interested in running is conversions, right? Conversion ads basically say, okay, Facebook knows everything about us, right? Facebook knows if I'm the type of Facebook user to actually go to a website, click a website, give that website my email, or purchase something on that website. And so what we wanna do most of the time is optimize our campaigns to convert, right? Either to get new email leads for our business or to get new purchases for our e-commerce or whatever the case may be. And so I'm actually gonna paste in the style that we use to name all of our campaigns, right? We can see that this says conversion, right? Which is the type of marketing objective first, then to cold traffic versus retargeting, um, then to all website visitors, right? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna target people in Canada who are men. It really starts to get messy if you don't name things really clearly from the start. So I I would use a very similar style to this, right? Campaign budget optimization is something that Facebook is actually forcing everyone to start using in the next couple of months, right? So you might as well start getting used to it. What this does is Facebook actually makes it so you set your daily budget at the campaign level rather than what it used to be, which was at the ad set level. Facebook does this because Facebook now can help you further optimize by using Facebook's artificial intelligence to actually optimize your campaign budget. And let me give you an example. So let's say you had one campaign with 10 ad sets. How it used to be would you'd, you'd have to put ten dollars a day for each of those ad sets which means a hundred dollars a day now you can do a hundred dollars a day for the whole campaign and then Facebook using its artificial intelligence and machine learning is gonna allocate that hundred dollars a day to each of the ten ad sets based on the results and so if Facebook says okay well the first ad set is doing amazing the other nine are terrible it's gonna actually allocate all one hundred dollars to that one highest performing ad set rather than all ten ad sets getting an equal ten dollar per day share so 
it's actually pretty cool. So the next thing we're gonna do is actually go to continue. Once we get to this page, we have to choose a pixel. In this particular video, we're talking about how to actually set up an ad. Um, if you're looking for how to set up a pixel, um, we'll talk about that a little bit later on. And we do have some training that we're gonna give you guys um, later on in this video as well. But for now, we're just gonna choose a pixel. We're gonna choose an event, right? We're gonna optimize for purchasers. And so that's gonna tell Facebook to go show this ad to people who've shown through their browsing history to go to websites through ads and end up purchasing, right? Facebook knows more about you than you know about yourself, I guarantee it. The next thing that we're gonna do is actually another semi new feature of Facebook, which is called Dynamic Creative, right? So we're gonna turn this on and then I'm gonna show you guys kind of how this works later on. As far as who to target and what interest to target, that is where a tool called Audience Insights comes into play. And so if you know nothing about your audience, Facebook has an awesome tool where it'll tell you a lot about your audience. So if we click up here and actually go to Audience Insights, I'm gonna open it in a new tab right here. This is all of Facebook, right? Every person on Facebook, 56% women, 45% men. But if we come into right here where it says interests and we actually type in makeup, right? And we go to cosmetics, for example, this is gonna change to 78% women and only 22% men. What that means is people on Facebook who are interested in cosmetics, 78% of them are women, right? We can also see a huge percentage of them are between 25 and 34, right? Over 26%. Um, so if we wanna target anybody, we probably wanna target 25 year olds through 44 year olds, these two segments right here, right? So all of a sudden, now before when we didn't know what we were targeting, now we're gonna target 25 through 44 year olds who happen to be women, right? And so we're gonna go to women here, we're gonna enter English for our ads. Um, and what we're gonna do in detailed targeting is we're gonna go makeup, right? Or maybe I should probably type cosmetics. So a billion people are interested in cosmetics. So we can go to cosmetics, we can look at suggestions, see other things, right? We could even do Kylie Cosmetics, right? And we can see that there's 3.3 million people interested, right? So we're actually just gonna do Kylie Cosmetics and we can directly target our competitor if we have a makeup company, right? Because they've already shown they're interested in Kylie Cosmetics. Next thing we're gonna do is come down to placements, right? Facebook wants you to choose recommended placements, but we're not gonna do that. Um, we're gonna turn off audience network, Instagram Instagram actually does work really well for makeup and like fitness clothing and stuff like that. So we're gonna leave Instagram on. But we're gonna turn off everything except for the feeds, right? Because everything except for the feeds generally is not as profitable. So we're gonna only gonna leave on Facebook news feed and Instagram feed. We're gonna turn everything else off. In Target, in Article, all of the app stuff, all of that. And the only reason I do this is because I've had a ton of experience and spent millions of dollars on Facebook. Um, but you wanna test everything, right? And we're gonna show you how to do that in a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue on. Um, we're gonna leave this stuff all the same. Facebook is already well optimized for that. And we're gonna go to continue. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose our Facebook page right here. You can add an Instagram account as well if you want to. Um, we're just gonna do single image or video here and we're gonna go to add media, right? We're gonna add images. Now we're gonna upload a couple of images that we have for this, which are right here and right here. We're gonna open both of these and then these are going to actually upload um, into Facebook and allow us to select them um, as the image we wanna use. Now remember, we chose something called dynamic creative. What this allows us to do do is it lets Facebook do a lot of the split testing heavy lifting for us, right? So we're gonna choose this first image right here um, and we're gonna press continue. And you can see right here that you're actually able to upload up to 10 images and Facebook's gonna do a lot of the heavy lifting and dynamically test between all of those images for you. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to allow additional optimizations and then we're gonna add our first primary text. Now, for the sake of this video, we're actually just gonna use um, Kylie Cosmetics. We're just gonna grab this particular text right here and we're gonna paste it in right here. Now, high gloss, ultra glossy, luminous gloss that glides on the lips smoothly with shea butter, leaving the lips radiant and moisturized. Shop now on, I mean, I guess we're gonna change this to kevincosmetics.com. Now, obviously this is just for show. Um, in a real scenario, I would never just like do this or you know, this would be like a website that I'd already kind of, um, it would be like my product or my e-commerce. Um, I'm gonna erase some of this also cause like it just seems like really redundant. We're gonna call this like ultra high quality gloss that glides on the lips smoothly with shea butter, leaving them feeling radiant and moisturized. Shop now on Kevin Cosmetics. Now, the cool thing about Dynamic Creative is you can actually press add another other option. And now what we can do is we can grab another one that catches our eye, you know, like maybe like one of these, line to perfection, wearing whatever, I actually don't know anything about makeup, so I'm not gonna pretend I do. Line to perfection, wearing new black liquid <laughs> guy liner, I love that. Kev liner, uh, plus new lipstick kit in shade Kevin. 
<laughs> no, I feel like no one would ever buy this. Shop liners, lipstick kits, and highlighters now on Kevin Cosmetics. If you don't like certain things, if you wanna change things more, feel free. I'm just doing this just to show you kind of how the infrastructure and the mechanics work. Um, you'd wanna spend more time actually writing these out. Um, and then another thing, we could do something like headline. For the headline, let's do like 50% off all makeup you know, this week, right? We can go to add another option. We could say shop now our exclusive collection. Um, and then what's gonna happen is Facebook's gonna test this image with this primary text and this headline. And then it's gonna test this image with this next primary text and this next headline. And this is actually a really amazing thing because how this used to work was you used to have to make all these split tests yourself, but now Facebook will do all of the heavy lifting and take all the different combinations, all the different permutations and do all of the hard work split testing for you. And guys, this is super advanced stuff. Most of the stuff I'm teaching you in this free video, people are charging thousands of dollars for. So if you like it, um, do me two quick favors, tap the like button, subscribe if you haven't already with the bells on and leave me a comment down below that says FB ads right just leave a comment down below on this video that says FB ads and if we get a thousand comments on this video then I'll actually drop a completely free course showing how to do this even more in depth and showing you guys exactly how you can start making a lot of money using Facebook ads and then the last thing you have to do to publish your ads is to grab your actual URL that you want to send people to of your e-commerce store or to collect emails or whatever the actual purpose of your campaign is and then pasting it in here right Kevin cosmetics uh, for example and then what you would do is you would go to confirm right once you press confirm that'll launch your ad right in dynamic creative Facebook will do all of the hard work for you it'll optimize and it'll choose how to spend the budget most effectively for you using CBO or campaign budget optimization and then it'll also figure out the most profitable permutation of your images your main text and your headline and so those guys are the two best most efficient most advanced ways to actually create an ad on Facebook leveraging things that already work by going and finding the highest converting ad copy from your most successful most profitable competitor and then using what they've already proven to work in your own ads because as the saying goes good artists copy great artists steal and I'm not saying that you should ever copy anything you know word for word but you'd be foolish not to look at your competitors and not to look at ultra successful other companies and actually use what they've already proven successful successful and emulate those same attributes in your own business. And so as far as next steps, I would definitely recommend checking out our completely free training where we go way more in depth on everything Facebook ads and how to actually turn Facebook ads into a full-time online income, even if you don't have anything to sell, even if you don't have a product, even if you don't have a service, Check out the link below to watch a completely free training of how to create what's called a social media marketing agency and earn a full-time income from home. Or if you just wanna learn more for free on YouTube, you have a brand new playlist of the best videos in the world of how to make money online coming to you live in three, two, one. See you there.